You can tell a woman's mood simply by looking at her hands. If she has a gun in her hand, then most likely she's mad. Hey, hey, some info for you from your wiser advisor. Pigs in Toronto, Canada, they used to be a great big deal. They still are, kind of, because that would be the politicians. They're pigs. They're all there, lined up at the trough, getting all that they can. Not just the Toronto ones, but certainly the provincial ones as well. In any event, I digress. Back to the Oinkers, as it were. The city was once among the largest meat producers in North America. About 1880, the uh, government of Toronto said, we should be in the business. It's a good business. So they did, and they lost money. Of course, they did up until about 1960. Then they they said, we're not going to be in the business anymore. Nobody else should be either. I guess the city was, in fact, getting too big, of course. But, but most people then said, hey, the city's gone. The taxes now have gone up. Like all liberals, they say, we are not doing it. And nobody should. Uh, I digress. The obesity epidemic continues to grow in Canada. A little play on words there, don't you think? One in four Canadians apparently are overweight. <clears throat> Look at me. Kelowna. Canada was singled out though as having the lowest rate of obesity in the entire country and there are more fit people in Kelowna than anywhere else. There's also a bunch of crazy policemen in Kelowna. Five police cars recently responded <clears throat> to a situation. A man was packing his truck. He was taking his boy fishing for the weekend and of course during the packing he packed his guns and his guns are legal the neighbor looked out snoopy neighbor saw this man and his guns phoned the police five squad cars showed up could you imagine talk about overkill and they arrested him they put him on the ground they put him in handcuffs i mean what a situation there was a baby in the car other people watching his family watching the man's being treated like a criminal he wants to go hunting kind of get over it and maybe find out first. The guns weren't even close to when the police came. Find out first if he's a good guy or a bad guy. It's a nice residential area. I think you're kind of overreacting. This was a few weeks ago too, as a matter of fact. The RCMP eventually, though, did figure it out and they did apologize. I guess that's kind of good, but you know what? To err on the side of caution, that's the verbiage that they used. I think that doesn't apply in situations like this. I kind of think it's more like having good sense and paying attention to what's going on. In Chicago, there's not a lot of good sense there, particularly with politicians and guns. The mayor now is saying, hey, let's videotape people when they buy guns in a gun store and let's put new laws into place that you know you can't have gun stores within X number of feet and it's a big number they're playing with those numbers from 500 to 5,000 feet from schools churches and places like that which effectively means you can't have gun stores anywhere you know in the entire city if not the state and we want to uh, make sure the bad people don't get guns bad people go into stores and buy guns. I wasn't aware of that. I kind of thought you had to have background checks and all kinds of other neat things like that. Criminals don't go to stores and shop. They're criminals. Is there any part of that you don't get? Chicago, you know what? People shoot people there all of the time. It, it's a terrible place with regard to shootings. I get all of that. Everybody does, but it's not the good guys that are doing it the bad things. Hey, hey, just saying, these guys should all get over themselves. You all come back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.